Grayson is our third baby, and so he had a, a quick birth. Um, and as soon as he was born, we noticed that his head was a little bit misshapen. He had a little ridge on top, and babies normally have a soft spot there, and you couldn't feel his. Um, so I went to his one-month appointment, and that was the first time I heard the word craniosynostosis. I will never forget that moment, hearing that your baby has a skull malformation that will need to be corrected by surgery is terrifying. I was afraid for him, nervous for her, but I knew we had to take the next, the next steps and find out what do we do. My primary pediatrician sat with me the first day and she explained what she thought was going on and she referred us to Dr. Wu and we had 11 days we had to wait between the diagnosis and the specialty appointment. It was the longest 11 days of our life. When we first met Grayson, uh, his family was very concerned, uh, understandably. They certainly realized that Grayson had an abnormal head shape and they really wanted to try to figure out what the best course of action for treatment was. My pediatrician had explained to me the more traditional procedure because to her knowledge, that was the procedure. It was a very extensive surgery um, that required an incision from one ear all the way across the top of the head to the other ear. And then during the, the wait between when we got the diagnosis, when we went to go have the diagnosis confirmed, I had read about a new endoscopic procedure that they were doing in just a few hospitals around the country. And I said to, to my husband, I don't know where we're getting that done, but we are getting that done. So if we had to go to St. Louis or Chicago or wherever we had to go, I think we're, we're willing to go. Going to meet with Dr. Wu, I wanted to talk to him about it, see if he knew anything about it, um, not realizing he was one of the few people that did it. Um, never did I ever imagine that we could get that done in Providence. Maybe, maybe we could get it done in Boston, but when I found out that we could have it done in Providence at Hasbro, I was ecstatic. To be able to have it done so close to home and have a specialist who's in the top of his field do it right here, it was, it was really amazing. This is actually a, a CT scan of um, Grayson where we originally evaluated him and just by looking at the scan you can see how wide his skull was and it's very similar to the skull model where you can see on this patient as opposed to a normal uh, that the skull is very long, elongated and beyond that, there, that there's this ridge on the top of the skull. And when we kind of rotate and look at the top of Grayson's head, uh, we can see that there's this partial growth plate um, where about half of that growth plate is actually fused, uh, which was restricting the growth of Grayson's brain. Um, and because of that, we were concerned that uh, Grayson's brain was not going to be allowed the room that it needed to grow uh, and develop normally. And besides that, Grayson, because of this situation, had an abnormal head shape. Uh, Grayson's family um, chose to do the endoscopic procedure. It is a very close collaboration between myself and my partner, Dr. Petra Klinga, who is our pediatric neurosurgeon. An endoscopic uh, craniosynostosis, it's really important that a plastic surgeon and a neurosurgeon collaborate. Uh, the role of the neurosurgeon is to safely elevate the bone piece that's abnormal from the brain and the brain membranes. That's what we do all the time, that's our expertise. We made two small incisions, one incision here, one incision here, just about an inch long. And with that surgery, what we were able to do is remove this abnormal bone. Uh, and his surgery was done within about an hour or so in terms of operative time. Uh, Grayson was able to go home the next day. Uh, even before then, we worked so closely with our orthotics specialists that they were able to come in the day after surgery and custom fit a helmet for him. Um, and he's done fantastic ever since. Grayson is doing great. He loved his helmet and he did very good with it. And the parents were very pleased. He now, when we saw him on our last visit, looks like a perfect, healthy, normal child. His head dimensions have normalized as well. We take uh, dimensions where we divide the cranial width by the cranial length and Dr. Wu said he is in the normal range, which is great. So for Grayson, seeing him now, seeing how well he does, we have to say the endoscopic procedure was 100% success. 
and really that's the result that, uh, that we're shooting for at this institution where we expect that any child born with any sort of deformity like this with craniosynostosis should ideally be able to have a normal shaped head after we're done with uh, whatever type of therapies that we recommend. Grayson is perfect. He is meeting all his developmental milestones. He is a happy, sweet one-year-old. He is busy, and you would never, ever know that anything had happened. You can't see his scars. His head is perfect, and he is just another wonderful, happy baby.